Hello, I'm Emmanuel Bach. I'm back with the Two Minute Masterclass, and today it's Tchaikovsky Souvenir d'un Lyosher, third movement, melody. This melody has such a wonderful, natural, romantic feeling to it that we really need to uh, invest in our sound and in the phrasing and really speak from the heart. Now, I think there are two main elements to consider, and actually both of them relate very directly to markings in the score. The first is the moderato con moto feeling, so with movement, basically breathing with the music like a singer does. And the second aspect is the espressivo aspect. Now, in terms of the espressivo, we really need to, I think, think about a few things. And the first of that is imagining the sound we want in our head before we play, really finding a beautiful sound that's lyrical and hearing that sound in our heads and then transferring that feeling into the bow and into our fingers and our arms. And that way we'll really speak from the heart uh, and find the inner beauty of the music. And we can do that actually in a practical sense as well, by thinking about the, the phrasing and the construction of the music. We really need to, I think, vibrate on every note in the opening here on these moving notes. So that each one of them feels like it has a, a beautiful quality. Each note has a beautiful quality to it. Then we can think about, as I said, the phrasing construction. So we have the moving notes, then we have these intervals here. And then this interval. And in between we have the long notes. So we need to actually find the meaning of these intervals as well. And note, one can use a small slide on the E flat to C flat coming back to the E flat just to bring a slightly different meaning to that particular interval. Then of course we have these long notes. Now we really need to sing through those and ensure that we give them their absolute full value so it feels like we're pulling the bow and stretching the, the length of the music like this. And then what happens afterwards is a continuation. When we get to this passage, if we actually look at the piano score, there's a, a phrasing uh, over all these, um, uh, uh, these staccato notes like this. Um, that I think is optional. The violin part tends to have just on the last few notes. But most of all, and this is relating again to the conmoto feeling, the, the staccato gives a sense of lift, and it's that lift which we need to maintain all the time uh, in this music. It's very optimistic music and really needs to speak from the heart. Other than that, it's just in terms of following the natural shape of the music. And of course, when the piano has the melody, at what is essentially the climax of the music, here we have these trills. Now, there we just need to ensure the trills as even as possible and that actually we're adding something to what the piano is playing because otherwise we, we don't really create enough meaning. So the trill needs to sound singing and wonderfully smooth as well and just beautiful, like the, the absolute height that this romantic music can reach. Uh, and that's really all I have to say. That's all for today. <laughs>